Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Spartan. And I'm Pudgy. And we are back watching Jujutsu Kaisen Season 2, Episode 15. <laughs> it's that time of the week again. I've been looking forward to it a lot because we left off on a very big cliffhanger. Yeah. You, you can't be doing nuts like that. Jujutsu Kaisen, you can't. You can't be just throwing Toji, coming through the hall out of nowhere, looking like the man's in heaven, and then just closing it. It's just so funny. I love the expression on his face when he was coming in. Well, it, it is funny, isn't it? Because I don't know if he exactly knows the level of special grade curse, or if he's just that strong. I don't have a measure of that yet, because he's only fought mm. Gojo. But we have two first grades dying, trying to survive, barely surviving in this domain. And he's coming in. And he's just come in, sitting there smiling, like, here I am. Like, I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> so, I don't know, man. That's That was a huge cliffhanger for me. Well, it's going to be interesting to see whether he's fully him now or if he's still fighting between the two. Oh, I think the whole point of it was that he's got control, at least for I now. I hope so, yeah. He might fight back and forth later on, but the thing is, the grandson that he took over seemed pretty weak anyway, so mm. I don't know. So that dispels your theory that him and Fushiguro were already working together or had no, met or No, no, no. Not that they were working together. But they hadn't met at all. So your theory was in the bin. Okay, that's fine. We'll, we'll chuck that one in the bin where they're about to meet, I think, anyways. Yes, and you guys did clarify that the Gramps that we loved, Grandpa Zenon, as I like to call him, yeah. was the head of the Zenon clan who we met in season one. I That's is a while ago. I forgot because you said like a little flicker and that's it. But yes, I do recall him in the Maki backstory. So he's the only one that's actually going to recognize Toji. Yeah. So having him there is going to be really unique. He's going to be like, what the hell? Do you think that Fushiguro might recognize him? No. Like, I'm pretty sure Fushiguro said, I don't even remember what he looks like yeah. anymore or something like but that. But you know how sometimes it, you look similar to someone and you're like, oh damn, like, could that be? But then probably not because you know that he's not even around. So I don't think they're going to go, they would go in that direction, but I suppose we'll probably find out this episode. Yeah. Hopefully, anyways. I'm looking forward to his his expression when he hears that it's his father. Yeah. He'll be like, what the hell? Like, I'm so excited for that interaction. So excited. Obviously, like, I can't stop theorizing about it. And I'm getting everything wrong. So, <laughs> I want to see. I want to see what it's going to be like. Super big help in the comments. We have been trying to read as many comments as we can that have been filling in a lot of the blanks or things that we're confused about. So, thank you to those guys who are filling it in and not spoiling. So, we were correct that it was, in fact the domain expansion at the beach that where they've been meeting and hanging yeah. out. And Dagon is in fact part of the disaster curse, which I didn't realize. So along with Mahito and Jogo and all them, yeah. that's why he was saying all their names. Yeah. And apparently we'd met him at the restaurant scene in season one. I don't really remember him. I'm going to be honest, but when we first met Ghetto and yeah. Jogo chatting, he was there apparently. I felt like I had seen him before, but I just didn't know when. So that does explain why he's so powerful. You guys were also saying, which I'm starting to get a grasp on the power scaling in this world now, because having Gojo there, it did make the special grades. I just thought that mm. special grades were sort of a one-on-one -on -one deal with first grade. So first grade, five special grade, in most cases, first grade could probably win. That's what I thought. Because we saw, you know, a, a very early Mahito fight Nanami, and we we're like, okay, but Mahito is also very new and up and coming. Yeah. Whereas that's why last week I was like, two first grades, they're still struggling so badly. I'm starting to understand the Gojo's power scaling better. Gojo's Gojo really special. made them look low tier. Yeah. Whereas when you got first grades, they're actually high. Especially these ones. There are special grades, like the ones in the early episodes of season one, where it was like an incomplete domain expansion. They're like, eh, first grade can probably take them out pretty comfortably. Then there are the special grades, like these special grade curses, these elite ones, talking domain expansions. They're pretty evolved. Yeah. I think they're like quite up there. You know, probably need a, several first grade sorcerers to be able to give, give them a run for their money. Yeah, probably. So that makes Itadori's fight against Chozo even more special. I know he wasn't, but he's probably comparable to special grades. Now that I've got that power scaling, I'm like, it's already really fought as a first grade tier. Yeah, he did super well. And yeah, he had Mekamaru's help, but it's good. He's not always thinking like a first grade, but having Mekamaru in his ear definitely did help with that. And hopefully he'll be able to take on those skills and apply them in his next battles. Yeah. Some other clarifications in the comments that just again, help me with power scaling, was that most first grade sorcerers I don't think can do a domain expansion. It's probably like a, a select few. It was really Gojo made it look like everyone just had that ability. Yeah. So I think that makes the specialness of the domain expansion make more sense. Why so OP? No, the, I, I knew that. Yes. That's what I was I saying. I feel like I sort of knew that, but I lost 
I lost sight of it. So yeah, it's just it's not everyone has that ability, and not everyone has a strong domain expansion. So so for Shiguro being able to do an incomplete one at such a young age already is pretty impressive. Yeah, that goes to show why Sukuna has already got his eyes on him. Like he's mm. got a lot of latent potential, I think. Oh yeah, for sure. So this episode, whew, I don't know what to expect. I don't know what's going to happen. I mean, they're continuing the fight with Dagon, but... I mean, I hope so. You never know, because we've gone from fights with Mei Mei to then fights with Itadori, and then we come back, like, two episodes later with Mei Mei. Like, so you just don't know what they're going to come But what up. could Toji want from this? Like, he's he's on neither side here. So who's he going to fight with? Well, it's just, there's so many unknowns. Like, I know. I'm just like, what the hell could happen in this episode? I feel like it's going to be hype. It, I think so. We just have to, like, jump in. Yeah. Because I think we've got no idea. We've absolutely got zero idea. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you to everyone supporting us on Patreon. If you want to watch the uncut reaction to this episode or get early access uncut reactions to any of our other content, we'll leave a link in the description down below. And if you guys are watching this over on YouTube, don't forget to leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel for more, and let us know in the comments down below what you thought of this episode. All right, let's go. Let's go. Yeah, it is. Little did he know that would create, you know, an opportunity yeah. for his father to come through. I love that line. I love when Nami yells. I love that faith and trust they had too. They just responded. Mm -hmm. Even that instinctive reaction by Dagon was pretty cool. I know. Wait for it. Wait for it. <laughs> oh my god, imagine. This guy. Oh my god. Dude. Imagine that. Oh my god. Oh shit, dude. I'm waiting for Gramps to recognize him. Damn it. Oh god. Oh, I took a call on him. Well, he knows the plan as well. You can't just do it. He's not going to let them. Oh, yeah, because she died, but the technique still works. Oh, my God. 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 Oh, my ジュリオクがない。ユーニオヨバン。ああ、ばばいけるグレッタ。いけるイターズウェイズマイフレンド。おお。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょ
<laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Running on water. Holy shit. He's just made those two first graders look like nothing. Oh, before it could even come out. You just know that's that was crazy. Look how tiny he's compared to them. And still no contest. Wow, man. They're all just walking. It goes to show, it. Gojo made him look way less significant, and now he looks like an absolute weapon. Yeah. Absolutely beached Dagon. Is he worth your attention now, love? <laughs> oh, imagine that. Oh my god, he's, he's getting, getting destroyed in his own domain. Holy crap. Tell him who it is. Tell him. <laughs> Who would have thought? Placing our bets on him. What the hell? Oh my god! Making swords out of him. I don't think Maki's gonna be happy about that, but. Yes, my friend, you are. You are. Wow. That heavenly pact is something else. Oh, his domain sort of handicapped because of Shiguro, okay. Yes, Gramps! Oh! oh. <laughs> That's Zen and domination right there. It's over, my friend. It's over. <laughs> There's no way. Oh my god. Wow. That is a beatdown and a half. Oh, they're just out of it. Because he's dead. Yeah. So what happens now? <laughs> Oh no! Shit, they all would have been dead. Yeah, that's the thing. Where does his loyalties lie right now? And how much of himself is really there? It does look creepy. Oh, menacing, dude. What the hell? Talk about presents. The suspense. No one's saying anything. It's like, who's going to make the first move? Huh? What? What, what? happened? No money got so Did Toji do that? Holy shit. Oh my god. Does he know? He, he knows for sure. Toji knows. And Jogo's here, what the hell? Just walks in out of nowhere. Oi, oi, oi. Dagon to you, Jure Yuri. He's even, yeah, he's stronger than Dagon. Oh, they're screwed. Hitorime. What the hell? What just happened? No, that didn't happen. No, no, no. There's no way. What's happening? There's no way. 
No. There's no way he just fried all three of them. Sanime. Like that. <laughs> Sukuna. Whoa, 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 this is too much. What is that? Are they feeding him fingers? Hang on, are they still alive? They're feeding him fingers to get Sukuna out. What? Holy shit. This is all happening way too fast. Way too fast. Look how quickly he got here. No, not these girls. Did they die? Did they... What the hell's happening? Why are they killing everyone? Oh. oh no, how many did they feed him? What the hell? How dude? many? Is Sukuna gonna come out too? How many is there? Are they gonna feed them all to him? What too much for one episode. Too is much. What's going on? Oh, oh, I can't. I don't even. Woof. It's too much. Oh, oh my god, he's got the majority of them in. The girls are okay. I think that picture that they took helped them, maybe. You're missing an arm. Oh, how did that happen? Tell me. Did Sukuna take it? Oh! <laughs> Even he's scared of this. This is too much. And he's not even at his full potential. Damn, the slightest move. They can't even breathe. What the hell? I hope not. I really do hope not. But look at it like a loose cannon right now. Like you just don't know. Even Joe goes petrified. <laughs> oh shit! Oh my god! Did he just blink and that was it? Oh shit, you don't wanna fuck around with him. I wouldn't want to speak after that. Oh. But hey, what they do with the ghetto's body, that's why. But they're gambling big time. I miss Gojo more than ever right now, dude. Oh, they're going to get Sukuna out. They're literally bargaining with me. Oh, no, it. it's risky. I had a feeling. Oh my god. Sukuna is. He's ruthless. Oh, no, don't. Do no, 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 no. Oh my god, man. Oh. They really gamble with the devil, dude. He evaporated her. Holy crap. I don't want to speak. I don't say nothing. I want to lick your toes, like, right now. <laughs> oh, my 
He did forge a pack, but you don't know what it is. Yeah. Of course. Oh, well, oh, that's well he's it. got no chance. I wouldn't even want to try. I'd be like, no, I'll work on you. It's good. Oh, 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 Oh my god! <laughs> Holy shit! That episode was absolutely mental. What we thought this episode was gonna be was Not everything, close. yeah, everything but. That is hands down the craziest episode of Jujutsu Kaisen so far. No contest, no yeah. close second. Yeah. So hang on, man, because, whoa, too much happened. All right, let's start with the small thing. We Toji. Talk with... Okay. Toji, I feel like he knows that. I'm getting the vibe that maybe he senses it. Yeah, he knows that that's his son, for sure, I think. Like, why would you single him out? So Toji's a lot stronger than we thought because he absolutely bodied Dagon, which was destroying yeah. two very skilled first grade sorcerers. Granted that Fushiguro was keeping his domain at bay, which is also very helpful, but still, like that, that puts Toji as like mm. top level first grade sorcerer, in yeah, my opinion. I think so. And I think it could be the fact that, you know, Fushiguro, I know it's Megami, I always say Fushiguro. The fact that he was keeping the domain at bay and exhibiting that power, I think maybe that could be why Toji recognized that that might be his son. Or, the, I don't know, the fact that they look similar. Because they do. They do look like father and son. But then what happened afterwards? Did did freaking Maki, Nanami, and Grandpa Zenon, did they all die? I think they're dead. Because he, well, looking at the Grandpa, the Grandpa was scorched. And Nanami looked like he got twice the amount of heat. But there's no way. Like, a death like that? Like, I'm not going to lie. But, I, then, but then we moved on too quick. I, I can't even, I couldn't even process it. Yeah, it was too quick. I had a feeling, I said it a few reactions ago, I had a feeling that there's potential for Nanami to die this season at some stage, but not like that. Nah. I mean, maybe, and at least get a moment to, to mourn him and what the, but what the hell was that? It was literally done. Like, Scorch, that was it. I don't know, man. I don't know. All three of them, I did love the scene when Nanami and Maki both got Scorched. Grandpa Zenon just went in overdrive, like instinctive. He just, he just fled up technique, but he was no match. Do you understand? Gojo bitched Jogo, like not even, he, he toyed with him for sport. And these guys couldn't even see him coming. I can't believe we've lost three great characters. Yeah, I think they're done. Oh my God. I don't, I don't see any way that they could have survived that. I mean, when you put it in comparison to those two little girls, I can't remember their names. When they took the picture, that was the only thing that saved them. And even then, like, that was, like, flick of a second. So... I wonder, could Toji have done anything against Jogo? I don't know. It was just good timing that he pushed Megami and him out. Is that... Do you think that's why he pushed him out as know. well? Are they going to have a chat or something? That's... Oh, I can't wait for their interaction. I genuinely can't. Oh, my God. I'm still emotionally just scrambled from this episode, guys. Like, what the hell? People kept saying Shibuya arc is going to be crazy. And it has been. We believe but you. But <laughs> this episode took it up to a whole next level. Holy shit. I don't know. I don't know. There's just so much up in the air right now. I mean, let's get to bloody Suka. He is ruthless. And he's only at 15 fingers. I love how Gojo still said at 20 he'd probably still win. But we are seeing, like, I'd say it's Gojo, Sukuna, and then, like, special grades down here, and then first grade at the floor. Like, first grade's not even yeah. in the ballpark in this game, unfortunately. They're in, they're in the tip. They're in the bin. So now we're lucky Sukuna's back temporarily for now, because if yeah. not, everyone's pretty much gone. Yeah. He would he would delete yeah, but everyone. He, he has his own plans. Yeah. So what does that entail? We don't even know. Like, he is... It doesn't seem like he's 
choosing a side right now other than himself. We're not really lucky, are we? Those those two girls, they they gambled with the devil and they lost. I just knew. I knew when you started getting greedy and bargaining, nah. They just got deleted, man. Holy shit. Literally, like they just pressed delete. That was it. Done. Wow. <laughs> I'm almost left speechless, dude. This episode was, wow. Honestly, I'm sweating. I'm sweating. I've, I've got tingles. I've been sweating the episode. This t-shirt is going to wash now. It was just, I was I was excited. I thought it was going to be good, but that was ridiculous. No, that was ridiculous. That and was it a... just set up another four plot lines. Like More, more. Like, wow. okay, so Jogo is literally saying, no, that's it. That's all we wanted. We just wanted you to be free. But we want you to work for our goal. I mean, that's pretty naive to think that it would go that way. But I think Ghetto has some kind of plan. Well, I hope Gojo doesn't just get... Sorry. I hope Jogo doesn't just get deleted mm. by Sukuna. Surely he's too important to get deleted that quickly. Because I, I do want to see him against some, some good fights for some, you know, more comparable first grades. Yeah. Sukuna is still looking out for, for Shiguro, Shiguro as well. He's Maybe. like, I'll kill everyone bar one. Yeah. Oh, it is honestly, you realize how much we just took Gojo for granted because right now, minus that ceiling, we would feel so safe. It's brilliant that he's not here because it's what makes it feel ridiculous. Yeah. But when he eventually comes out, we are going to feel so safe because he's such a beast. I know, I'm going to be so excited, but I think it's a while yet. Look, dude, he deleted Toji, he deleted Jogo, all these guys that have been killing everyone. Gojo deleted them while smiling. I know, but. We're not going to see him for a while. Oh, imagine Gojo was here right now with Sukuna. He's been be... not listening to what I'm saying. He's I'm just in, in dreamland. I'm in dreamland. I'm in dreamland. But imagine that Gojo right now, Sukuna's at this power and Gojo rocks up. Oh, it'd be ridiculous. I just, can I just say, how naive of those two girls that they could just feed it to Dory, all those fingers, and then, well, I don't know how many that actually did. I, maybe it might have been a couple. And then you think you're going to bark it? Like... I just don't get it. Like, now look what you've unleashed on this world. Sped up the timeline a lot as well because he's got 15 fingers in here now. Yeah. How many did he have beforehand? I personally don't remember. Uh, I think he had three. Okay, so because, they would have... Yeah. Because Jogo fed him 10, right? The girls might must have fed him two. two. So it's 15. Interesting that Sukuna's got his own plans. He's got his whole own agenda. I know. And you know what's crazy? Like... It is still, it's Dory's face, and yet it's changed a little bit with the markings and stuff, but I still see him as, <laughs> sorry. You're laughing because my tummy's growling. My tummy was growling really loudly, and she can hear it. <laughs> it was so loud. It still looks like this innocent Itadori almost when he was walking up to Jogo. And the voice changes, and you just Yeah, go, oh, and then you just see, like, the cheekiness in his face. So you do forget for a minute that it is still Itadori's body. Itadori right now is still way out of his depths. I mean, Jordan getting stronger, but dude, he's he's eons out of his depths yeah. at this point. I want to see what Sukuna actually looks like though, because even when Itadori goes in, it's still him, is it not? Just like a bit different. Otherwise, they look quite similar, Sukuna and Itadori. Yeah, we don't know. We've only seen Sukuna represented as it's a yeah. look. You're right. He must have had his own design at some stage. What would that look like? I don't know. He said Dory looks pretty sick. So I don't know like how you can get even cooler than that. I'm sure you can. And but... if Dory is like somehow some distant relative somehow born from something later that's looking up because he's like that one in a million that could yeah. deal with him. So I don't yeah. know if there's some relation there or if they've just done that. Yeah, that, that's mm. interesting still. Anyways, I can't wait till next week, essentially. Like... Oh, guys. Yeah, no, honestly, this really elevated Jutsu Kaisen in my um, mm -hmm. bucket list too. Like, Jutsu yeah. Kaisen was up there as an anime. This one episode. This one episode. It was up there as an anime, but it wasn't yet... I, I wasn't putting it in my absolute, like, S tier of S tiers yet. But this has... I have to put it up there. This has, yeah. this has really distinguished this anime as just yeah. something something else. Something now we see. Level. Now we see why you're, you're all crazy for it. Oh, my God. It's only, it's only season two, to be fair. I don't know how many seasons there would be, but it's only season two. Crazy. Wow. Guys, <laughs> At this point, we'll just keep rambling because I'm just emotionally scattered <laughs> at, the, at this point. But this episode was mental. Make sure to let us know your thoughts in the comments yeah. down below. Just let us know what you thought. Holy shit. Did it impact you like it impacted us? Leave a like on the video and subscribe if you want to stay up to date so you know as soon as we drop the next episode. Take care of yourselves. I'm going to go in remission for a <laughs> while. And we'll see you guys back next week to see what the hell is going on. See you guys.